Okay, guys, I'm back. And for this part of foundations, we're going to talk about the sound k. So I want you to think what letter says k? You guys are right. It is the letter C. C, cat, k. Say it with me. C, cat, k. Is there another letter that says k? Oh, I think I heard somebody say it. The letter K. The letter K also says k. K, kite, k. Say it with me. K, kite, k. Think really, really hard. What else says k? And I'll give you a hint. It's a digraph. The letter C, K. The digraph C, K also says k. C, K, sock. Okay, how do we know when to use what letter? Because right now we have three letters that say k. We have the letter C, K, and C, K. All of these say k. How do we know when to use what letter if they all make the same sound? It can get really tricky, can it? So I'm going to help you out. Let's talk about the letter C. When the letter C stands all by itself, it stands alone, doesn't have a letter, it doesn't have a buddy letter, it's just the C. It says k only at the beginning of a word, okay? So when you see a word that starts with the k, with the letter C, like the word cat, It's going to start with a C because it's at the beginning of the word. So anytime the letter C is at the beginning of the word, it says k. Okay? Okay. The letter K. When you see a letter K standing alone, it is never... Oh, I shouldn't say never. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Okay, so the letter K also says but it does not end any words by itself after a short vowel, okay? So we never have a word that looks like this, okay? We don't ever have a K at the end of a word after a short vowel that says K. You also may use the letter K at the beginning of some words, right? Um, and that we're going to talk a little bit later about in our curriculum because you use the letter K at the beginning of words that um, have a long vowel, okay? But we will talk, we will get into that a little bit more. But for right now, it's just important to know that the letter K, when it comes at the end of the word, after a short vowel, it's never going to be by itself, okay? Alrighty, the letter CK. This is where we use this digraph. CK always comes at the end of a word after a short vowel. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean. So let's move those out of the way. Actually, I'm just going to take them down. I don't need to see. CK. I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? Let's write the word. Okay, so here we have the word. Um, let's tap. Um, no, sorry. Oh, I'm getting out confused. Let's mark up the word first, okay? So here we have a... Okay, we don't... We have a consonant, B. B. Here we have a short vowel. I'm going to mark up the word like this. That means it's a short vowel. That means it says a. Ah. Here we have the CK, the digraph. Notice how it's at the end after a short vowel. Let's tap out this word. Ready? B, A, K, back. This is the word back. Okay, let me write another one. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all confused, guys. Sorry. Okay. Let's mark up our word. Okay, 
Do you see a short vowel? I do, it's right here, the U. So I'm gonna mark it up, that's a short vowel, it says uh. Do you see the digraph CK? K. Now we can tap out the word. D, a, k, duck. Okay, let's do another one just so I can show you so we can see again how the digraph CK always ends a word after the short vowel. Let's do this word. Make sure you can see. Okay, let's mark up our word. Do you see a short vowel in this word? We have a consonant vowel, the letter E, and it's going to say eh, it's a short vowel. And here's our digraph CK. Notice how in all of these words, our digraph CK comes after a short vowel. Let's tap out this word. Ready? N, e, k, neck, neck, back, duck, and neck. Okay? So my whole point for showing you this lesson is so that you can see when you're supposed to use the digraph CK. It is always going to come at the end of a word after a short vowel, okay? Never at the beginning of a word. Never comes at the beginning of the word. Only at the end of a word after a short vowel. Alrighty, so in your seesaw assignment today, you're gonna be making CK words, okay? So remember that the CK is always gonna come where? Does it go at the beginning of a word? Never. Does it go in the middle of a word? Never. Does it go at the end of a word? Yes. And only after a short vowel. Okay? Alrighty, so you're going to go into Seesaw, complete your assignment, and I will see you back here for your next Foundations lesson.